What's up, everybody? This is Mitch. This is my first tutorial in Logic Pro 9. Pretty much, I'm just going to be giving you the basics, just just how to start out creating, recording. Um, to start out, let's uh, let's figure out how to change the tempo of any song. Okay, to do that, there's multiple ways. The way I like to do it is come up here to Global Tracks, click the down button, and then in here you can just drag the tempo up and down. Um, that's my favorite way. I don't know, easiest. Um, it's graphical, that's probably what I like about it. Or down here, you can just double click this. There you go, type 120 in. Third way, final way that I know how to do, let's come up here to lists. There's different tabs up here. There's a tempo tab. What you can do is also just double click on that, change it to, I don't know, 125. Sure, that'll work. All right. Um, close global tracks. Um, yep, that's how you change the tempo. Next, I will show you exactly how to um, uh, record sounds. Um, to do this, uh, if you don't have a MIDI keyboard, what you can do is you can press caps lock, and a keyboard comes up. And since I'm have one tr uh, one channel strip up here, um, it will be recording on that. So let's see. Uh, basic electric piano, easy enough. Uh, what I can do is uh, come up here and press R, which is the shortcut for record. Oh, wait. I need to get out of there. R, then caps lock. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. <clears throat> easy. What you can do is drag that around. If you want to loop over it multiple times, there you go. Just I don't know why it's playing that first note. I probably played it too early. Yep. Just drag that back a little bit. There. All right. There you go. It's easy. It's it's really easy. Um, if you have a MIDI keyboard, it's even easier. Um, what I'll do next is get rid of that loop. I'll create a new channel strip. What you do is you come up here to the plus. Um, audio is for recording direct in for bass guitar, regular guitar, pretty much whatever. You need an audio interface for that. Um, sometimes there's even uh, microphones that you can just go plug in right to USB. That's pretty simple. Um, Otherwise, yeah, you're going to have to use an audio interface to connect your guitars, microphones, pretty much whatever. Audio just records the waveforms that whatever your recording gives off. Right now, we'll just do software instrument. It comes up, there we are, <clears throat> the exact same as the electric piano from the first channel strip. Then over here on the right is your library of sounds. What you can do is, oh, I don't know, I'll have a synthesizer, synth leads, dominator, definitely my favorite and then this audio file that we created earlier I can drag down to dominator okay and I'll put on the loop again and press space to play and since it's just MIDI information it will play whatever sound is on that track and you can just keep moving it back and forth you can copy it press option click it and drag and it'll create a new one you can play them both at the same time. Dominator's so loud, you can't even hear the electric piano. But it is playing. And then next, let's see. What you can do is, uh, down here, these are the preset effects that come with the patch that you selected over here. And that patch being Dominator. And as you can see, as I select different patches, over here, these will change. Okay. We'll just go back to the Dominator really quick. Dominator has compression, equalizer, it has space designer, which is just a reverb plugin that's very complicated, and a limiter on it. And what you can do is you can open up each one. This is the complicated reverb. It's the best reverb, most complicated reverb though. What you can do is, I'll just bypass it really quick, mute this top one, and then I'll show you what it sounds like with and without reverb. So, kind of dry doesn't have any depth to it. I'll put it on again. 
you can hear that reverb tail, which just gives it a little bit more depth. It's better to listen to. And so you can just hold down on these, and here is your library of effects. Um, pretty, pretty much unlimited. I mean, you don't really... I haven't gotten any other plugins. I've gotten Melodyne, but honestly, that's for, I don't know, recording vocals and fun stuff. But if you want anything, I mean, it's just all in here. All your compressing, all of your... I mean, it even has a pitch correction in here. You don't even need Melodyne. It has a bunch of reverbs. Anything you want, it's in there. All right, and then down here in the in and out, this is your instrument, okay? If you want to... Uh, I'll create a new track up here, software instrument again. And what well, it's just blank. All it has is the electric piano in it. I can come and choose which one I exactly want. So if, I don't know, I want an ES... ES2 synthesizer. It'll open up. Very complicated. I will actually be making a tutorial over this in the future at some point. It's it it's a great synth to use. Um, what you can do is since I have it selected down here, over here in my library, it shows all the different presets within this instrument that you can use. Okay, these presets don't change any of the effects just because it's all this is is changing things inside of this instrument not outside okay if you want to change the effects you want to click the top and then you're back to the panel at the beginning that I was showing you and I don't know some pads once oh blur pad I've used that before yeah, and then weird crazy awesome beautiful you get it okay so you just record it you can I don't know, drag and drop these wherever you need it um, for all you GarageBand users there's a huge loop library I'm if you don't know how to use loops I'm sure there's a YouTube video out there simple it's probably like 30 seconds long you just click whatever you want and then just drag and drop easy um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much just the basics to get you started. Um, if you have any questions, just ask them on the comments below. I'll try to help you out. Um, so, yeah. Thanks, guys. Bye.